Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some corn cheese scone cups. Now I've seen several recipes and videos for corn cheese scones which are made in a muffin tin and uh, it's basically uh, a cup of um, scone dough filled with uh, the corn and the cheese filling. So that's why I'm calling them cups basically. I'm, I'm, I've varied my recipe just a little bit from most of the ones that I've seen but only very slightly um, and they're going to be very easy to make and should be very very tasty. So I'll go on to the ingredients and for the filling I have 240 grams which is about a cup and a half of uh, sweet corn that's out of a tin and I've drained the liquid off and uh, patted them dry a little bit. Uh, and then I have uh, 100 grams, which is three and a half ounces. That's probably between half and three quarters of a cup of grated mozzarella cheese, a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper, and 70 grams, five tablespoons of mayonnaise. Those are for the filling. And then for the, the scone dough, I have 180 grams, which is one and one third cups plus about three tablespoons of plain flour. That's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 25 grams, two tablespoons of caster sugar. I have 30 grams, uh, which is an ounce of, uh, just over an ounce of uh, sweet corn a pinch of salt, three grams, one, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, uh, 30 grams, two tablespoons plus half a teaspoon of cold butter, which I've diced, half a medium egg, which is about 30 grams, and that would be half a large egg in the USA, uh, 20 grams, one and a half tablespoons of cream cheese and uh, seven, uh, 75 millilitres, a quarter of a cup plus uh, one tablespoon of uh, creme fraiche. You could use double cream but I've, I've got creme fraiche open so I'm using creme fraiche. So that's all the ingredients and the first thing to do is to uh, mix the filling together. So I'm going to put my sweet corn into a larger bowl just for ease of mixing. I can see one there that's not, not very nice looking, take that out. And then I'm going to add in my salt and pepper. And the grated mozzarella and my mayonnaise. And then I'm going to stir those together. Just to get them all nicely combined. And that's all there is to it really. So then I'm going to put that into the fridge just to chill it while we work on making uh, the dough for the scones. And this too is very simple. I'm going to put my flour, baking powder, sugar and salt, pinch of salt into uh, a larger bowl and I'm just going to mix those around and then 
I'm going to rub the butter into that and um, I'm just going to do it quickly between my fingers basically. It doesn't matter if there's a few little clumps of butter and I could do this in a food processor but because there's only a, a small amount of butter it hardly seems worth it. And that's good like that. So then I'm going to add in my remaining ingredients but I'm going to mix them together first. So I've put my cream cheese, egg and the creme fraiche into a bowl. And I'm just going to whisk those and get those combined. And that's good enough like that. So then I'm going to put that into my flour mixture and I'm going to stir it round until I get it into a nice dough mixture basically. I'm just going to stir that until all the flour is incorporated and coated with the wet mixture and I don't want to overwork this because scones should have a nice tender crumb and so I'm going to use a uh, my hand just to make sure that that's coming together nicely and yes it is that's a, a nice dough so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sweet corn in and I'm just going to mix it again to get the sweet corn distributed and that's good enough like that so everything is just about combined now so I'm just going to cover that with some plastic wrap and put it in the fridge to chill it for 30 minutes and uh, as it chills for 30 minutes, I'm going to preheat my oven towards the end at uh, 180 degrees Celsius, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to grease, uh, I think, eight cups of a muffin tin uh, ready to take the, uh, the scone dough. So I'll come back when this is chilled and we're ready to go on to uh, actually make the scones. So uh, my dough has rested and I've just put it onto a lightly floured surface and I'm going to cut it into uh, eight equal pieces which will be almost 50 grams each basically. And then 
I'm going to take each piece, just roll it into a ball and I'm going to flatten it into a disc which I can then put into the, the muffin cups. And then I'm going to take each of the pieces and put it into the tin which I have greased and I'm going to press the dough around to form my cup. And then, with those uh, filled uh, with the, the dough, I'm simply going to put my filling into them. And with those filled like that, I'm going to put those into my oven and I'm going to bake them for between 18 and 20 minutes until the scone dough has cooked very nicely. It should be fairly crisp on the outside, uh, tender on the inside, and the filling has cooked through as well. And then I'll take them out of the oven and uh, leave them for a couple of minutes, then I'll transfer them to a wire rack and I'll come back and show you what they look like and we'll have a taste. I baked my uh, corn cheese scone cups for 22 minutes in fact. I, I checked them after 18 minutes and they were baked through I'm sure but they weren't quite coloured enough on the top I didn't think so I left them for another four minutes, 22 minutes. Then I took them out of the oven, I left them for five minutes in the tin and then I carefully transferred them to a wire rack and this is what they look like. They've baked up very nicely, I have to say, and I've cut one open so that you can see inside. And you can see that the scone is fully cooked. Um, so I'll have a taste of the one that I've cut open. I've already had a, a small taste of it. The scone has a lovely tender texture. The sweet corn is the main flavour and uh, you get a crunch from the sweet corn and a lovely creaminess coming through as well. The very mildest of cheese flavours, mozzarella is not a strong cheese. You could try other cheeses but I don't think you need to overwhelm um, the, these with the flavour of cheese. So, very simple to make. A lovely savoury treat I think. I would happily have one of these for my lunch and take them on a picnic. I, I think they're the sort of thing that you could easily reheat um, in a microwave or a couple of minutes in the oven if that's what you wanted to do once they've gone cold. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.